Let's take a look at this quick effective rate on zero interest bearing note problem. The effective interest rate on a 12 year zero interest bearing note payable of 200,000 discounted, discounted at the bank is what? And I've dropped in the formula that you can see right here. Okay, so there's our formula that we use to calculate the effective rate. I've worked this one ahead of time just to save some time. So the interest rate, uh, I'll bring that to light interest rate and make that uh, not the background color I want to make the, uh, the the font color black is 8 percent um, the number of periods is 12 so we can use Excel's rate function to calculate this and I worked this ahead of time let me show you how we how that works um, or actually instead of using Excel's rate function I'm using the, the calculation that you see there so what we have to do I'll hit F2 is you have to take 1 plus B6 divided by B7 now maybe what I ought to do is just work this equals 1 we'll, we'll do what's in the parentheses first so 1 plus 8 percent that's given there divided by the number of periods 12 close the paren and raise it to a power of 12 okay and then from there we subtract 1 so I'll put a space and minus 1 and when we do that we come up with an effective rate of 8.3 percent which is correct we, we would expect the rate to be higher so long higher than the annual rate um, whenever the interest rate is greater than 0 now another way you can calcu calculate this is using Excel's effect function and how you do that is you type equal effect hit the left paren now I like to go up to the uh, formula bar so you get a function arguments view here and then you put in the information so the nominal rate was 12 percent and the number of periods they gave us was 12 we put that in and when I drop that in it gives us uh, the function if I've done this right oh nominal rate is not 12 nominal rate is cell B6 and I come up with an effective rate of 8.3 percent so there's two different ways you can solve this one with a formula and one with Excel's effect function